Well, hello there, my dear friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare and roast a lovely partridge. This lovely red-legged French partridge. A wonderful, wonderful game bird. And in the scheme of things, compared to a pheasant, relatively easy to pluck. For my money, the easiest one if you're starting out on preparing game birds is pigeon. It's very forgiving with the pheasant, as some of you may know, one foul move and the skin is broken. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Hopefully, in real time. Let's do it. So, just starting over the breasts. Now I'm using finger and thumb just to gently pinch them out, not taking too many at a time. Nice and steady. And already we can see where this one was brought down. So where we get a shot, we kind of just put some pressure on it and pull the feathers out. Try and keep this skin intact. So just take your time. As you can see, it's coming away really easy. So we continue. You can always put a bit of pressure on and pull these out. So working down to the neck. Just be careful over the neck because it can sometimes tear. But like I said, much more forgiving than old Fezzi. Not to say that you won't tear it, it's no big deal anyway. It doesn't really affect the final outcome. And the trick with plucking anything is to keep your hands dry. Because once they get wet, it's a proper ball ache. But I can see here, there's a naturally torn, maybe where a dog's picked it up. So just work around it and then work on the patch if it's a little bit wet, especially if they've been shot in the rain or whatever. Just be nice and gentle, gentle but firm. You can see in there, just broken the skin somehow. So we continue over the back. This is quite a hardy part of the bird. So you can give it a little bit of stick. As you can see, I've pretty much done that one half so we just give it a bit of neck because when we truss it we want something to be able to anchor it to and we'll anchor our knot by that net net neck but yeah it's coming along nicely So I like to pluck it what I think is pretty much the whole bird. Just leave those tail feathers on. Then we can go and have a good look at anything we've missed once I've cut the legs, the neck, the head and the wings off. So me, I'm just going to pluck to the first join, which is there, and then we'll cut those wings off. And believe it or not, but that is the majority of this lovely little game bird done. Just work over to the 
anal vent, which is a posh word for its asshole. There you go, look. Right down to the tail, and then over that other leg. Right, move the feathers out of the way. So years ago you'd see the farmer's wives plucking these into a carrier bag. It is quite a good idea. <laughs> Wishful thinking, my friends. So, yeah. Preliminary pluck. Next, some nice sharp poultry shears. Take off its head, leaving a bit of neck. Then I'm just going to take the claws off. Just leave a bit of bone there. And then these wings, like I said, down to that first joint. Maybe I have to just stop that actually. Twist it. As you know, not a lot of meat on those drumettes as they're called. So you can twist it off or you can get your shears if they don't fall apart. And just cut through it. And by the time I've moved all that out of the way And taking off these remaining tail feathers like that we'll give that a little swill under the tap now because you'll find that a lot of this is just feathers that is stuck to it and then of course we could just finesse it a little bit but yeah as you can see in not a very long time say about five minutes she's looking all right right I'll give this a wash clear these feathers up ready for part two lovely lovely evisceration Ain't it pretty? So there you go then, pretty much that pluck like I said, I knew we'd broken the back of it and got most of it. So I'm just gonna go over, like I said, finesse it. Just get any little bits I miss, but don't be too worried about it, especially over here, these little, little wispy feathers. They will just burn off when you roast them. So yeah, so basically I was just lightly washing this under the tap. Yeah, I'm liking that. Right. Next, the fun part. So, as you can see, that's the anal vent there, where the breastbone ends there. I'm just going to put a little nick, nice sharp knife, just enough to be able to put one finger in the cavity and I'm moving it up following the top of the breastplate, my fingers about here now, so I can get one in, so reach to the back, making sure you grab as much as you can, and then you can get your finger in and pull out. 
the guts go back in retrieve the heart there's a heart there's this little liver there watch that Next, flip it over. Want to find its crop, which will be full of its fateful last meal. So pull, and it pulls out the windpipe there. As you can see, let's have a look. Looks like corn or wheat. So yeah, that for all intents and purposes is empty so what we do is just tidy up around here mm, nice work if you can get it and then we'll have a look inside see if we missed anything have a look for the lungs right at the back now that's empty literally you can take your finger and poke it out there's a little bit of the windpipe left so that is pretty much that bird completely done. So it's given another wipe out with a damp rag in there. One more final check over and we'll truss it up. Now there's several things you can do here with the anal vent. If you want to just cut it out. That gives you a really nice clean front end so I'll give this a wipe and we'll truss it how good does that look hey it's beautiful okay then now we can truss our lovely little partridge and make it look all professional so underneath the legs one loop round one one loop round the other Bring it together with a little knot like that. See how gorgeous that is. And then the wings, under the wings. And this is where we left that neck. So pretty much just a classic knot. Check its shape, it's looking good. So just tie it off, give it a couple of knots. that off and then we just give it a final fettel pull that breastbone out like that yes I'm liking that come on come on out you little beauty any little bit of feather and then we could take the rest of that neck off and we have one lovely little partridge ready to go isn't that lovely so let's have a little recap then we started off with that and we ended up with that right my friends let's cook this little beauty so I put this in the fridge just to dry out a bit from where we washed it off bought it out give it enough time to come up to room temperature and then we're going to roast it so really really simple if you have got fresh thyme use fresh thyme I'm just going to put a little bit in the cavity there and then I'm just going to put a bit of pepper over the bird chuck a bit in there next salt some nice sea salt 
lovely so there's two ways you could do this my usual method is to pan fry it first and then put it in the oven but we're going to go for a full oven roast so what we need to do is to protect this little beauty first of all put a bit of butter in the cavity it loves it and then what we're going to do we bash this out and then just rub it over the breasts just to protect it and of course we'll be able to use that with the pan juices to make a lovely little sauce real quick with either some red currant jelly whatever you've got or some cranberry sauce and a little bit of red wine so yeah basically just massage that beautiful of course you could use rapeseed oil use whatever you like but I think we're gonna go full Monty with the butter very simple then in our tin oven is set to 200 degrees C I think it's about gas mark 6 and we're going to put this in for 30 minutes so after 30 minutes then it should be looking like that doesn't that look amazing just absolutely gorgeous have a look at that lovely roasted so I want to get anything that's left in that cavity any butter that could go in that and relax just get a little bit of heat under here just a little bit not too much so these remnants that we got here I'm going to add a little bit of flour just to pick up all those bits and cook it out slightly let's turn that down I've got it on the wrong side hob really move it over so that's more sensible so into that I'm going to add about 125 ml of red wine Get our flour in there and just begin to stir it around. Stir it up. Get rid of these lumps by giving it a good old fettle. And of course, it's picked up all those lovely caramelized bits off the bottom. The butter, the salt the pepper, the thyme will all be in there now you can use red currant jelly or cranberry, I'm using cranberry obviously we had a load left over from crimbo so we get that in, let's get a little bit more heat under this so basically want to mix it all together and then just let it boil away for a few minutes just until it reduces and gets thicker as you can see that has got nice and thick don't think we're going to get rid of those bits of cranberry but do you know what I don't care I think it's lovely but you can see by part in the red currant jelly or cranberry it's nice and thick so I'm going to turn that off for now in the meantime I've got some kale on I've made some celeriac mash which is just equal parts potato and celeriac then some butter and I put some shredded leek through as well just to add a different dimension lovely okay then let's do it so I've got some lovely lovely curly kale which I've just basically blanched for five minutes let's 
see if I can be a bit professional here give it some of that then a dollop of celeriac mm. potato mash that's gorgeous with some leek through it mm. kept it quite rustic and then we're gonna lay our partridge just there and then any resting juices just tart that up a bit and then that lovely red wine sauce just go just a little bit just put a little bit over it just there you go beautiful roasted partridge with curly kale potato and celeriac mash and that lovely red wine and cranberry sauce absolutely stunning the colors there are amazing so before I just dive in I'm going to have just a little bit of that in the sauce. I'm going to show you the partridge. Now, I can just tuck him. No messing about. Oh, come on. Give it to me. Mm. Oh, God. Just talk amongst yourselves. Well, that was my roast partridge. The curly kale, potato and celeriac mash, and a red wine and cranberry sauce. As you can see, it was absolutely gorgeous. Still nibbling on a leg. Anyway, if you like what you see here today on the SRP, please click subscribe when my face comes up down here. Here, somewhere. I don't know why they say that. I haven't done it for ages. But just press the subscribe button. Press that bell. Also, find me on my social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at the Scott Reed Project. And if you would love to help the channel along, which I would be very much appreciated, please check out my Patreon page. Just got one more drumstick to do. So until next time, my friends. Take care. That was monumental. Just that little bit left. Look. Go on.